to interact with pig we need to write pig latin script to interact with hive we wrote high query language which was very similar to sql that was the reason why we didn't really spend much time in learning hive because we already know sql here we need to learn pig latin script so to write any data analysis program pig provides us a high level language that is known as pig latin script pig latin syntax is very simple there are very few terms very few keywords and it's very intuitive there are many built in operations for joins filtering and ordering we just need to call the right function right operator it provides nested data types like tuples bags maps that are missing from map reduce what exactly are nested data types that means a tuple or a bag a bag contains tuples and the map contains key value pairs so basically each one of them is a subgroup of the other one in fact in while we are writing pig latin script you will get to know what exactly uh, the use of these nested data types and why these are better than map reduce job code program but anyway we did not write any codes in map reduce so we will not be able to compare how good pig is or how good pig data types are when compared to map reduce but however anyway overall pig itself is uh, avoiding the whole burden of uh, writing the map reduce codes and there are, in fact in pig pig allows us to write user defined functions we can write our own functions we can develop our own functions for reading writing processing or creating the reports and then implement them in play pig which will indeed convert them into map reduce code so that is a really powerful uh, feature of pig where we can write our own user defined functions that will serve our business purpose so what is a pig pig architecture as we know pig understands pig latin script and send them to hadoop so pig stands upon or pig sits on top of hadoop so you have hadoop and then on top of it is pig pig has within the pig it has execution engine compiler parser optimizer so basically as soon as you write the codes from grunt shell so pig offers us grunt shell it is like simply the command line interface so it will just come gr grunt with a uh, interface where we just write our pig latin script then they will be going through parser and then code will be optimized then the compiler if there are any syntax errors or any issues and then the execution engine that will send after all these processes that will send our pig latin script pig latin scripts and then convert them into map reduce then send it to hadoop and hdfs so data is on hdfs uh, on that data analysis or whatever computations need to be done will be executed then again that will be fetched back and given as output in pig so pig basically it is very simple architecture you have all these uh, operators within pig you have all these uh, tools within pig that will take care of uh, parser optimizer and compiler execution engine and then all of that is sitting on top of hadoop so we will start learning pig latin script in detail so we'll first start with data types what are the basic data types in pig latin script so here are the simple data types the ones that we know there are integers float long double char array byte array boolean date time big integer for dates for characters for integers for numbers you have all these simple data types apart from that pig has some unique data types that is called first one is atom it is just a single value in pig latin script irrespective of whatever is the data type uh, irrespective whether it is an integer or a float or a long or a character everything is known as atom it's like simply calling it as a dynamic variable in other languages it is just a variable that's what we say right whether it is numerical or character or a date variable like that everything is known as atom irrespective of their data stored in that then there is one more important one that is tuple so you have tuple data type within pig what is a tuple tuple is something like a row in a generic table or in a data table basically a tuple contains an ordered set of fields so here is an example of tuple so mobile comma its price is 200 so mobile comma 200 is a tuple tuple 
uh, representation is this parenthesis so everything that is written like this is known as tuple so you can think it as a simple row within a table so if you have 20 columns then you will have each row is a tuple which will be in between these two parentheses all the 20 column values will be given in those uh, in that tuple and then there is one more data type called bag what is a bag bag is an unordered set of tuples what is a tuple tuple is this one mobile comma 200 let's say there are two columns that is first one is item name second one is uh, item cost then mobile comma 200 is tuple what is a bag the fields at the same position need not be same which means let us suppose the first row has 20 columns second row can have 25 columns third row can have just four columns then there is no need that first column in all these four tuples need to be same so the it a bag is just simply a collection of tuples what is a tuple we saw mobile and 200 this this is a tuple and what is a bag so these two tuples are there mobile 200 pc 600 this is a bag so bag is collection of tuples why we need to learn about bag why we need to learn about tuples because pig latin script is going to use these data types for data operations these kind of data types might make pig or might make our operations or might make our analysis easy to handle any type of data that's why we are defining new kind of data types here tuples already there in python etc bag is the data type that is used in pig then there is one more data type called map very simple data type map is nothing but a key value pair so there will be a key there will be a value so the key needs to be type char array so it has to be character and it should be unique so map is a different data type we will see when we use it or we might not even use it simply map is one more data type within pig it is represented by the square bracket now one of the examples of map is you have age 30 so age is the key and the value is 30 map with two keys item quantity so item mobile is the value quantity is the key 200 is the value so map is nothing but the key value pair so in some of the operations these key value pairs become very important or they will be very useful so we have seen tuples it's like rows we have seen bag it's like tables in fact there is one more uh, type this is the last one relation so relation is also another data type so pig works with lot of relations we will be seeing lot of relations while working with pig so what is a relation relation overall it's a bag and what is a bag a bag is collection of tuples right so it is similar to table in some cases so relation is almost like a table so relation is a bag bag contains tuples so relation is like table table contains rows tuple is almost like row tuples contain fields we have seen tuple contain fields a field is a simple data right so a relation is the outmost structure in pig latin script data model so we will see what exactly is this data model or data flowing language pig latin is known as the data flow language how that really works we are going to see that basically pig has certain data types that's what we are discussing discussing here there is something called relation relation is nothing but a certain type of bag so a bag contains tuple tuple contain field tuple is nothing but uh, within the parentheses we give the values that is a tuple those values are fields now certain tuples put together becomes a bag certain bag bag is a kind of subset of overall relation so bag of bags is the relation so a relation might contain many bags we will see exactly what exa how exactly the relation looks like how exactly the bag looks like as soon as you import the data the data will be converted into tuples bags and relations basically your data set might not look like a table in hql or in sql looks like a table here it will look like a bag what is a bag bag is certain collection of tuples so we will see 
all of that in pig so pig handles data slightly differently because to achieve these map reduce operations we need to and pig what exactly pig is doing it is converting our pig latin scripts automatically into map reduce so to make that process easy we need to write this certain scripting language called pig latin script so we will see some of the basic operations in pig latin script so before we write pig latin script before we go ahead for the lab session opening the pig and writing the pig latin script we would like to take a note of some of the important points while writing pig latin script first one is pig is case sensitive for certain commands or for in certain cases basically keywords keywords in pig latin are not case sensitive but function names and relation names are case sensitive let us suppose if you define a particular relation with upper and lower case then that is case sensitive but the keywords let's say store load or some kind of import those kind of keywords they are not case sensitive but the relation names or the table names that you are giving they are case sensitive there we can put the comments in sql style that is double hyphen or in java style we can use any type of any of these two any of these two commenting style so let us see let's see how to start pig how to start working with pig <laughs> 